Jalen, you started off the game really aggressively. What was it on the floor that, that, that you saw that led to that aggressiveness and, and attacking? Uh, nothing. Just like you said, just being aggressive. Every time you catch the ball, trying to get to the paint. Um, getting to the paint opens it up for you know, all the guys on our team that love to shoot three. So just trying to get some paint touches. You guys didn't shoot well from beyond the arc in the first half. Uh, took a while for the offense to really get clicking. What goes into it, both physically and mentally, to kind of stay committed to what you guys are doing, to, to trust the things that you're doing, to just kind of control the game un until you're able to, to really hit an offensive run? Defense, uh, got to defend. I think the game was closer because we wasn't really making shots, but they were scoring on the other end. They, we gave up a lot of baskets. Um, I think what allowed the game to open up is that, you know, we kept defending and then the shots started going in. So defense, you know, being able to, to get stops allows us to play like kind of the lifestyle that we want and that's get up shots, um, get up threes. Um, but we weren't getting no stops in the first half um, or at least in the first quarter. And um, that's why the game was a lot closer. Jalen, new suit over here. Thanks. New series, uh, same Derek White. What is allowing him to play the way he is? I think he's 138 points in three games now. Just being aggressive, uh, taking what the defense gives, um, just um, being a catch and shoot threat first off, but uh, taking advantage of his matchups. And, and you know, Derek White has grown. He's been like, he's, this is a new version that we haven't seen before. Like, he has put the work in, his body has developed a little bit, he's got some more playoff experience. And he's being aggressive, and we urge him to do that. We're going to need that more and more down the line. Jalen, over to your left. What, what have you kind of liked so far in these playoffs about kind of the business-like approach you guys have had? You know, you're not really having lulls. Um, you're not giving up leads. It's kind of been consistent and stable throughout. Anything can happen. It's the NBA playoffs. We're just taking it one game at a time, um, and that's all we can control. Um, and we try to come out and be the harder playing team. Um, we stick to our agenda, and we let the chips fall where they may. Um, it's going to be tough for a team to have to beat us four times. Um, but as long as we come out and we execute on both ends and we're the harder playing team, I think we'll be fine. Jalen, early fourth quarter, you shot a three from the top of the key, and I think you turned your head before it went in. I think you thought it was, it was going to, like, can you take me through that? Like, what, that confidence to know that, I mean, it was going down. Did it feel that good? Yeah, I had a role in the night, but each each and every game presents different challenges. I'm excited for game two. I'm going to come out with the same mentality, um, but you got to see how they might guard you, might cover you. Um, you just want to come out and make the right plays, the right reads, you know, um, and that's all it is, you know, just playing through your teammates and playing with confidence. And you've been so much more efficient this year, like just kind of making the most of it, making great court decisions. Can you kind of talk about that evolution this year and, and your improvement? Um, absolutely. I think that definitely has been an emphasis for me, being efficient. Um, we got a lot of threats on our team with the addition of um, Przingis, with the acceleration of Derek White. You know, that means a lot of guys are going to have it going or had a ball in their hands. So when I get it, I need to be efficient with the opportunities that I have just because of how the game is going. We got a lot of different guys that can, can do a lot of different things. And I've only empowered that. I think that's made us a better team, but it's also made me more efficient. That when I get the ball, I want to be as lethal as possible. And then Jalen defensively, can you take me through the block on Donovan and that led to the transition bucket on the other end, number one, but then also just kind of, is that a matchup that you will ask for, have asked for, and are going to take personally? At the end of the day, it's the, the Celtics versus the Cavs. Um, and, and we're we're all we are we're all geared in on and guarding and defending at a high level. That play is just playoff basketball. Um, you know, look forward to game two. But you know, it's it's the Celtics versus the Cavs. After that uh, game two loss, you talked about how physicality needs to be a lifestyle. Just now, you were talking about defense being a lifestyle. People use the term mindset, but lifestyle people don't say very often. What does that like mean to you? And how do you guys kind of live that every day? Yeah, just hanging our hat on the defensive end. Like, it got to be that, it got to be non negotiable. We don't want to get into trading baskets with teams. Um, we want to get stops. I think you get stops that allows you to, to jack up and put up as many threes as you want. Um, and, 
and that's what we want to do. Um, but we got to get stops. Can't let teams just trade baskets, and we got enough defenders on our team to do that. Um, so when we're doing that at a high level, I think we'll be fine. When Derek takes like a lot of shots, you guys win pretty consistently. What what do you think? Like where where do you think the connection is there? Is it just that he is aggressive on taking a shot in transition, or that you guys are able to create easy looks for him? Like where is the connection? Um, we just go over certain reads and practice all the time. I see him on the on the side always working on, you know, the type of shots that he knows he's gonna get. We got certain actions, and those actions he's mastered them, like where his shots come from, and, and so. It's like almost like practice for him because he shoots those shots over and over again. If a guy goes under, if a guy's uh, out of position, um, Derek White feels confident and he takes those shots and he makes those shots. Jalen, uh, when you look at you guys as a team defensively, what did you like about it, but also the job that Luke and Al and Tillman did tonight? I thought, I thought Luke was exceptional um, when he came in. He was absolutely... Um, he was great. He came in. He added value to um, the second group. He contested shots at the rim. He rebounded, and he made timely plays on offense. And he's been working on year. He's had some injuries up and down, but Luke has been um, tremendous for our team, and uh, he brings great energy. We need him to continue to do that and step up, even on the road, and continue to make plays. That's huge. Jalen, just uh, following up on Luke, spinning it forward a little bit, what kind of impact does he have on this team when he's playing well? Um, Luke is just, you know, one, he just sees and reads the game. He's an intelligent basketball player. He knows the right reads in the right time. And when he's playing well, he's not thinking. He's just out there just playing. You know, he's seven-footer, so he can test shots at the rim. Um, he does a good job of just doing his job day in and day out. And that's what we need, you know. So Luke has been a great um, ad, has been a great benefit this whole year. Um, but I'm looking forward to him to step up and make big plays in the playoffs with Przingis being down. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.